Oh, sure. I didn't do that. I think Brian got in and did it. Okay. Yeah, I'm back, guys. Give me just a second here to get things set up. I'm sorry, it's kind of glitchy there and looked like Zoom needed an update on the laptop. Yeah, when I started mine, it had to do an update also. Okay. Now, bear with me. I'll get the agenda on the screen momentarily here. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. So, who all is now on the committee? Well, I'm not sure I'm officially on it till next month, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Correct. It's it's everybody's the same with the exception of Kevin and Andy. Uh, uh, but Melissa is sliding over for one of them. And uh, uh, Aaron Linus, uh, I believe is how you say his name, uh, is the new addition to the group uh, taking over for, I guess, Andy. Or, or Michael's coming on board uh, for Andy in that regard, too, but going to be the chair. Okay. I don't know Aaron. Yeah, yeah neither do that Aaron. Hey, everyone. Hey, Happy Melissa. Wednesday. How's it going? It's, 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 it's wonderful. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Good. Good. Are we, I know Steve's not joining us, and I, I'm, I'm a little, because we're sort of in a weird in-between place, I got an email from Andy who had responded to the incoming uh, library staff when she reached out about sustainability things. He said, I'm no longer on the board, so I'm gonna kick this over to Michael and Melissa. Um, so we're kind of in a weird place. Like who's, um, who is on the committee this month, like right now? So it's my understanding, everybody from the old group is still a part of the committee, at least okay. for this month, based on uh -huh. what Jay, Jay had mentioned. But starting next month, the committee is Michael as chair, um, Melissa, John, Steve, and then Aaron Linus uh, is the last committee member. Okay. Okay. That's kind of what I thought. So I, because I thought, you know, there had to be some you know, some transition time with current board members. So I thought Andy was still yeah. on the committee. I, I think Andy still is. It's weird. I kind of read that section today. It was very strange. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, it, but if, 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 if that's true and Andy doesn't attend and we know Steve is not going to attend and Kevin doesn't attend, yeah, you might quorum? not have a quorum. We don't have a yeah. quorum. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly that's exactly the, the where I was going with that. Um yeah. <laughs> oh, Kevin, no. Kevin said he's not attending. Well, Kevin, I think because we're in this weird place, Kevin probably believes that he's no longer on the committee. I don't know. Um Brian, I don't I haven't heard from him that he's not attending. But he also understands that he's he's not going to be the you know he's not going to continue on this committee, and he might have thought that that started this month started this instead month, of yeah. May. Yeah, because I got to be honest, I thought it all started this month. Yeah. Well, what what was weird is that Jay kind of jumped the gun and did the committee committee appointments a month early. I think he oh, really okay. should have done that at the April meeting. Reading okay. the ordinance is what it kind of okay. red like it, it like it can't be done before the election technically yeah right i was kind of confused about that because how could we you know could, right we we know but how you know yeah <laughs> could you formally know yeah um, okay so so i don't know if you guys do? are still an ad hoc committee but you guys could pretend like you're an ad hoc committee we can talk about stuff if you want to and not have like a big long thing if there's any updates and whatever or not yeah. see i don't know if we're a real committee yet or not I mean, I think we are, but I don't know. It's, it's I think as of April first, we were a real committee. Yeah, I think we just don't have all the members yet. Yeah, it's a weird middle ground <laughs> space here for this particular right. month. That's kind of uh, your standing committee, but the official committee membership doesn't kick in until next month, from what we were told. Um, so, uh, yeah, and and Aaron um, uh, Linus had 
emailed me back stating he had a conflict he couldn't attend tonight. Um, but I did want to include him in case he wanted to sit in on one of these and observe how the meetings go. So we won't be having him tonight either. That's okay. probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a pretty boring meeting. Um, okay. Well, how about like, I think the most prudent thing to do then is Michael, I like your suggestion of let's just, if there's any updates to give, let's keep it at that level and not dive into anything in the agenda just to keep it, just to keep it safe. Um, um, just yeah. because I had like public comment and a question about something that I kind of just, you know, just whatever. Okay. Public uh, comment away, man. Okay. Well, I wanted to say um, I'm in the starting stages of the community gardening <gasps> yeah. starting. So I wanted to let you guys know for sure. Um, I sent an email to Mike today about that, about garden tilling and when we think that could get done and and kind of like what exactly am I with regard to the community garden? Because it used mm -hmm. to be ran by the Life Foundation, but I don't know if they exist anymore. So am I a <laughs> volunteer for the Parks Department or? It's a good question, Michael. Yeah, you know, I was like. I don't know what exactly I am. Like, how do I fall? Can I charge people $10? Or are they supposed to pay the village? Like, I don't want to do like illegal yeah. things, you know? Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I sent an email to him. Who knows? Okay. I, I mean, I just don't want to make it super confusing and get a lawyer all involved, you know? I mean, right. if we just make it as easy, like they pay me and any leftover money I give to you or, you know, or do you have to give it to the village and submit receipts for like when I buy pieces to fix the hose or you know it's oh, God. right you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's, it's just easier for me just i mean the first year i collected 30 dollars. we spent it all on hose stuff and some insect stuff last year i think i got 60 bucks i did some maintenance on the lawn mower. you know it was just like it wasn't these aren't big subs of money you know mm -hmm. and and i think this year i might have to replace the watering cans maybe i don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know so i don't know i'll figure it out with mike okay yeah. Um, the only thing that I'd say, Michael, is if you're not connected at all to the Dane County Community Garden group, there is a group that supports community gardens in Dane County and they share information. There's there's it's a there's a I think it's rooted. Um, it's a it used to be like Troy Gardens or they're affiliated with Troy Gardens on Madison's east side. Anyway, they provide resources and also provide grants and can help with all kinds of community garden related questions. If that's a resource you're not familiar with, it's just something you should know about so that you're not, you know, there are other community garden coordinators, which sounds to me like that's the that's the job that you've taken on informally, at least you're the kind of uh, informal chair of the community garden committee congratulations yeah. <laughs> but there you know there's there's a good network out there to support that um once you find out kind of what the you know um i don't even know like who the authority is or or what the entity yeah. is that's governing the community garden see that's um, why it's a lot easier it's a lot easier to keep it informal because then it's like you just sort yeah. of show up and use a park <laughs> yeah, yeah right you know? to Right. The most trusted thing in the world, Google. <laughs> uh, the Life Foundation is permanently closed. Oh, it oh, is. Oh, wow. So it says okay. that on Google. That's, or, if you, if you mm. can see that, <laughs> it is. No. it's permanently closed. <laughs> okay. 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 So it doesn't. Okay. I'm doing it right now. I mean, oh, yeah, it seems, permanently closed. I hate to add more work to the sustainability committee, but it seems like there could be some kind of partnership with like parks and the sustainability committee to help support the community garden because it's in line with our with our priorities, Michael. Um, oh, there, definitely. So, yeah. You know, let it's us just, let us know what you need. Yeah, I don't know. I'll find out from Mike because if that thing. Well, does it mean like. Could we, yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's their address, permanently closed. Oh, yeah, the, okay. Um, yeah, then that's good to know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all good. 
the people who go down there and garden, I mean, they really seem to know what they're doing. <laughs> like the people that are going right now, like there doesn't need yeah. any coaching or going on. Like they're coaching me, if anything. Like, I mean, so, you know, that's where, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how yeah. big we want it or continue. I mean, I know last year I had to turn away, you know, you and Chris, because it was like mm -hmm. after the date after I'd done it. And then somebody else had emailed like the day after you guys. Mm -hmm. So there were two people I know. I mean, I just went down there today and like looked and first year I had, well, three people like Steve kind of did. He just kind of gave me 10 bucks and sort of hoped to, some pumpkins to grow. <laughs> <laughs> and then so it was like really like two and then last year it was six, which could have been eight. So, yeah, I mean, it could keep multiplying up or just slowly growing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a good thing to keep in do. mind. I'll, 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 I have to work that out with Mike because that means I should take okay. all the life foundation references out of all the documents that like I send out then, which I yeah. sort of had started to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then we're functioning under the village then somehow. Sounds like it yeah okay i'll figure it out okay um other other uh announcements not well, really I... an announcement but a question all right um, fire away did, did no mo may um get approved for this year it did that's okay. good the resolution <laughs> <was fantastic. laughs> I, we we did a uh, village ordered the signs the 50 or whatever I, I can't I'm, I'm blanking on the number right now I'm just so fried um the signs were ordered those have been delivered um according to Mike even though I haven't seen them yet I've been okay. preoccupied with so many other things um but they are, are apparently in the village hall so I can make sure we get some kind of a publication thing out on the website um to make sure we get that advertised uh, to the community residents. They can come in and make a donation for those. Great, thanks, um, Brian. Thanks so much for working on that. Um, I don't think I have any, I'm gonna just check my notes. I did, I, I should say that um, I was a little slow on the ball, but I did reach out to Focus on Energy to ask them to, do a presentation for village residents on focus on energy programs at the library. So um, I'll let you know what I hear, but um, I was a little slow on the, on the, on getting that out. So I don't, I'm not surprised that I don't have a response yet. Um, I think that was probably my, my only update. And then wanted to flag for folks that Steve went through and did a really helpful thing for our last conversation about the, the, the our priorities, our sustainability plan. And he's color coded red, yellow, green to give us like a quick dashboard about where things are. So take a look at that. And my hope is even though Michael's gonna be chairing the next meeting that we can um, start to kind of zero in on those areas that are red that we haven't made much progress on on the dashboard and start to talk about how we can move those, those parts of the sustainability plan forward. Because we're about a year and a half in, a little less than a year and a half into the plan. I think we devised it as about a three-year plan. So um, take a look at that and, and let's bring that up for conversation next month. Cool. Oh, Brian, I do have a, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, I guess, I don't know, announcement or update, but uh, any, any progress on the assessment, on the energy assessment? So right now... Um... Gosh, I'm blank. I'm I cannot even remember the gentleman's name who came out to do the. Was it assessment. Chris or was it Chris Seats or was it a colleague of his? I think it was Joe. I want to say I, I, I'm, okay. I'm honestly I am so blanking on his name right now. But he's been in communication with me. He was okay. putting together his findings. He had asked me for some additional information pertaining to the village's policy related to the, our street lights, um, mm -hmm. which. I in turn sent a message to MG&E because I couldn't find what our actual village policy was in the agreement with MG&E for how they replace streetlights and everything, which kind of spawned a different issue to come back to life, which Michael's aware of, which we're going to have a meeting with them about um, in another week here. But um, I hope to have more information at that meeting 
um, provided by MG&E, which I can in turn respond to him about related to the lights, which I think is the one sticking piece he's still hoping to get more info on to complete the assessment. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I, I can feel that I'm creeping into content and like agenda topics. So I'm going to, I'm going to refrain since okay. we don't have quorum. Um, I, I have something and I'm not exactly sure if it's sustainability or not. So I'm just going to toss this out there. Um, but I, I got an invitation um, from the Capital Area Waterways um, for a educational thing on, um, it, it is three-pronged. It was basically removing blockages in creeks, the correct creeks and waterways the correct way that makes the DNR happy. Um, flood mitigation, um, and then creating uh, water trails for economic development. And, and unfortunately, it's on a day that I, I can't attend because I already agreed to help clean up Xander Park. Didn't Chris and, take that over for you, John? Uh, he did not. Oh, okay. I thought he did. So let's follow up on that. Um, okay. Um, I Okay. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's okay. But what I was wondering, because what I did do is I did reach out to them and say, I probably can't attend, okay. but would you be willing to make a pre another presentation to a captive audience that's interested in doing something like this on the Black Earth Creek? And okay. they said, yes. Ah, okay, okay. So is you know I I'd be happy if Chris wanted to take over and I and I could have done that one, but if he if he really can't, um they they're they're willing to do a presentation just to people in this area that are interested, um not like I said not sure if it's one hundred percent sustainability, it feels a little bit like sustainability and economic development honestly. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought I thought I would mention it to the to the group. Okay, well, one thing that I will do is check with check to see if you can be off the hook so that you can attend that, and I will get back to you. But either way, that's um, um he he that's sent a cool... me, you know to, to for, for, you know just to defend your husband a little bit. He did um, send something to me while you guys were on vacation. And I okay. said we would touch base after you guys got back. Okay. So uh, that's that's as much on me as anything. So, but okay. at All present, right. he is not. All right. Um, cool. Well, I think we should cap it here. Um, as my, this is my last official job as a chair. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Uh, we, we can't go down it. I know, <laughs> we don't have quorum. <laughs> the irony. Okay. All right, everybody. I'll wrap us up here. <laughs> have a good rest of your night. We're going to try for this again with a fuller committee in May. And uh, go get your no mo May signs from the village. I still got mine from last year. You just need a sticker. You need a sticker, I, John, now. He's working on that. Cool. That's the other right. thing. Andrew is working on that. All right, cool. Well, good night, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. We'll talk to you again in a few weeks. We'll try okay. it again later. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.